Hey guys, it's your boy DC Connor and the other day I did a watch collection and today I thought I gonna show you my knife collection. I always loved knives but I never intended to collect them. It was never my intention to collect knives. I had one or two and ever since a little kid you, you know boys, boys will be boys, we like knives and cool gear and stuff like that. Uh, but I never really intended to collect knives until I started getting knives and lots of my good friends on YouTube here I met uh, sent me most of these knives are gifts from YouTubers from other YouTubers and that's why I decided I'm gonna collect knives because collecting for me collecting is all about that it's not about taking a thousand bucks and just order a bunch of knives online and have the stuff like that. Uh, that's great if you have the money, if you uh, have the means to do that, that's great. But for me, uh, personally, collecting is about meaning and that all the special stories behind knives and that every knife has a story and has a meaning behind it. So that's why I want to show you my collection. Uh, it will probably get bigger over the years. Uh, so I'm just a young early collector in the early stages of collecting. And I'm not looking particularly to expand my collection because I focus more on watches. But I nevertheless, I love knives and I'm gonna show you some of these lovely, lovely knives I've got. Okay, we're gonna start from bottom row here and work our way up. And this is the one of the nicest and my favorite knives I have in collection. The quality of finishing and the polish and the color and everything about it. It's so small knife. It's like a, you can see here. And I have reviews on all of these blades. Uh, you can see it's like a small finger but it's a sharp and this is a case mini trapper and it's a beautiful knife well built well done uh, and it's a gift for my youtube friend laura which i met through youtube and it's a beautiful knife has two blades uh, i think if i find a bigger one uh, normal version but bigger like Victorinox because this is a really small but so useful and I carry this and I love this knife this is the nicest probably the nicest knife knife I have uh, here in my collection so case uh, mini trapper peanut trapper whatever you call it highly recommended by me and it's a great gift I got from Aura. Another gift here is this, you all probably, my subscribers will know, um, from Knife Tags and this is a Spyderco Cricket uh, but with a special twist on it because it has a fiberglass bow decision scales uh, which are just lovely lovely and great gift a great knife vg10 steel perfect little edc blade uh, for everyday carry for use for collection but i use most of these knives and carry in my edc rotation so i don't just put them in the, under the glass bow and never touch them so great small unobtrusive great quality uh great steel great pocket clip very unique very cool nice nice collector's item and definitely worth considering your time uh, this is uh, another spider co it has uh, some scratches because i carry this on my keychain most of the time and it got some scratches but i will probably polish this one uh, it's a spider co uh, grasshopper it's a very small blade uh, slip joint uh, and it's very small very sharp uh, steel on this one is not on pier uh, like uh, 
it's a little softer than ACR 30 MOV, but these are very very affordable uh, knives and great keychain items and great overall. Uh, it's a slip joint, but it takes a great amount of force to close this down. Another great gift from Laura as well. So I'm still loving it, still using it, and thank you so much, Laura. Uh, speaking of Laura, uh, she she's on Instagram. I tell you, I believe that uh, um, for the girl and some number, I will probably put a link to the guys over here and this was a gift from knife tags if I forgot to mention it knife digs and spider co cadet another classic and if you are collecting knives these are pretty much all the classic models and when it comes to collecting anything I like to have iconic classic models and this is a spider co cadet very very nice uh, Hall of Famer uh, slip joint spider call very thin very useful and great little and sexy looking blade uh, another victorinox in my here collection as a victorinox climber and i also had the victorinox huntsman plus but i gifted that to my body uh, so like I said, never really wanted to collect knives up until I started getting so much gifts. It's a great, has a nice translucent scales here and very nice uh, Spyderco, uh, it's not Spyderco, it's Victorinox Climber Swiss Army Knife. It has a corkscrew, which I found very useful, uh, it has scissors and basically it's a bit of a upgraded Spartan. And Spartan is great, but it lacks scissors. So if you want something like that, this is a knife for you. Okay, moving on to the next one. And this is Opinel. Uh, it's a number six. And I like it because it's number six. Uh, it's a bit smaller. And this is one of my also favorite knives for everyday carry. It's so classy, it's so lightweight, so simple concept. Knife with the history behind it has a long-standing history and I bought this as a souvenir uh, when I went to Vienna last winter or autumn and that's uh, I like it it will always be special in my memory gonna remind me of that trip and it's an iconic model really classy and I love it uh, I don't like some of the bigger opinals because they don't look as nice as smaller ones just like when you have a, a large feet and you saw a nice pair of shoes or sneakers and you just then they give you your number they're damn ugly uh, so moving on to the next knife uh, this is a N1 um, this is a N1 knife just like Sun Renmu uh, this is N1, except I like N1 as a name brand more. Sun Remove just screams China. I know I don't like that. So I like N1, a great knife, 12 or 13 bucks. I can't remember. And I have this knife for probably a year. And check out the action. It's a manual. It's one of the smoothest and fastest deploying knives. I have in my collection I ever had. It's a Warren clip uh, blade, great pocket clip, sticks a bit more up and that's the only complaint I have it. ACR 13 MOE, great knives and one you know that. Next blade is a Spyderco Persistence and this is a, just a middle of the road Spyderco, uh, smaller than a Tenacious and bigger than Ambitious, also a gift from Laura. So uh, I always keep this and one of my most carried knives, just because it's Spyderco, uh, it's nothing too better than this N1 in terms of quality and that but just because it's Spyderco it's named has a nice ground on its edge so you all guys know Spyderco persistence great value for money uh, great entry level Spyderco and just gonna hurry this up next thing we're gonna come here to Fat Man 
and this is a Kershaw free fall and uh, like uh, you say Kershaw uh, but um, it's a free fall I want this in a giveaway from a fat man uh, what I like about this Kershaw is uh, this is a Walmart edition which is not stone wash it was coated black I removed that coating said not said uh, right now it's kind of polished uh, but uh, I like everything about this blade except the blade steel uh, which is not a CR30 MOV like in regular Kershaw Freefall uh, this is a bit softer steel but nevertheless very sturdy knife very beefy uh, feels great in the hand has a nice deep carry pocket clip very solid sturdy I batoned this knife I did everything about with this uh, just great value for money and regular Kershaw free fall with the stone wash finish I will probably have to get that one because I like this blade so much it's a very feels 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 like a fixed blade just feels like a fixed blade it's from the fat man and I got another knife from a fat man a uh, little Amtac but that well blade my girlfriend took over so she is EDC in it she liked it and she basically took it uh, next blade is a buck and this is Buck Bantam. Uh, I have a review on this one too, also from a fat man. Uh, check out Fat Man, link will be in the description for all of these guys and gals uh, here. Uh, great knife, super lightweight, great, uh, great ergonomic, er, great ergonomics, I believe you say. Uh, I'm not a native speaker, so. Uh, sharp, this knife cut me so many times just when I wanted to scrape something off it it just bites my tongue and it's a super super sharp uh, great value for money buck made in USA uh, just one of these knives uh, hunters will take and I take this knife when I go to outdoors when I go to the woods and I don't really carry through the urban environments just because of the loss and stuff like that but one of my favorite blades it's longer than all the others and it's a great value for money and the least and the last uh, is a buck buck 650 nighthawk fixed blade uh, badass knife this is a badass combat knife you can see a lot of use of it uh, from my father uh, rubberized grips it's a discontinued model but if you find this one it's definitely worth every dollar just a mean large badass knife I have a, a video review on this one and it's a great knife I love everything about this blade it's a mean scary sharp great survival great combat knife uh, I love the blade shape uh, it's one of the meanest and baddest knife I have so that was my little collection I think I have covered all the I think I have covered all the necessities here from EDC knives which I mainly focus on to the fixed blades I don't have a lot but everything I have is uh, meaningful to me uh, means a lot to me as a gift and it's also very capable so I enjoy every single one of these blades and tell me what you think if you have a nice collection I would be happy to see it make a video link in the comments and see you guys soon don't forget to subscribe